Hello Falava and welcome back to another vlog. In today's video I will be beginning a baking series which I'm really excited about. My goal is just to simply share that it is possible to enjoy those sweet goods and baked goods or breads that you love to eat in a healthier and a simple alternative way. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. So to start us off, we will be preparing a whole wheat blueberry muffin. And so far I have already added my softened butter along with the cane sugar. And the process is called creaming. And the goal is to get a light and fluffy and airy texture. And once that is achieved, I will add my egg replacer. A little bit at a time, the instructions say. Add my baking powder, my vanilla extract, and my salt and I'm gonna mix it up just a little bit more and allow the mixer to do its thing and now I will add my whole wheat flour so I don't add all my flour at once because every time I call drupal my recipe or do it six times my recipe always changes and so it's best to put less than have to take away and shout out to you and Tizana for teaching me this really key tip when it comes to baking and so I have already added my blueberries and now I'm just mixing it thoroughly with a spatula and I just want to be careful by not over mixing. Enjoy this scooping montage. So here is a butter, flour, and sugar crumble that I use pretty often when it comes to muffins. The recipe is super simple, you just gotta combine your softened butter, flour, and sugar, add some salt to taste, and then you just sprinkle on top of any baked good that you want. I bake these muffins at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes, and of course, poke it in the middle to make sure that it's all the way cooked. And look at this view! Another recipe I want to share with you guys is a cashew cream and berry pastry. So we're going to start by cutting borders, leaving two opposite sides uncut, and then folding those opposite ends towards each other. And we're also poking holes so that the pastry can puff up. And I'm trying the just egg to see if it will give that nice golden color as the regular egg wash. And I'll be popping it in the oven at 350 for about 10 to 12 minutes. And voila, look at that color. I begin with my cashew sauce by adding some cashews, raw cashews, soaked overnight and adding some water. And I want my consistency to be a bit creamy, not watery. And of course, I'm doubling my recipe, adding vanilla extract, sweetened condensed coconut milk, which will be our sweetener and add a nice coconut flavor which is not too strong and I topped it off with a Marion berry sauce and sprinkled some roasted almonds that gave it a nice crunch as well and I sprinkled it over with some monk fruit powdered sugar that you can find at your nearest health food store and just look at that this recipe was so delicious I had to try another version by adding strawberry sauce topped with homemade granola Ooh, and it was good. The last recipe that I will be sharing for this video is me trying out Jennifer Gardner's blueberry buckle recipe. I really wanted to try and see if I can do a vegan slash plant-based version of it. And let's see how I do. I start by melting my butter, bringing it to a nice warm heat, and stirring in my sugar, getting that ready for my yeast. I believe I'm doing this recipe four times, so don't mind how big of a quantity of sugar or salt or yeast I'm adding. I will set that aside to sit, and I will next be sifting in my whole all-purpose unbleached flour, my baking powder, and my salt, all my dry ingredients. This recipe calls for cardamom, so I'm adding that in, and I'll just be sifting it into the bowl. Mm -hmm. 
after I get through with my sifting, it's time to clear my area and get ready to do the wet mixture. That requires a lot of vegan butter and cane sugar or mog fruit sugar, depending on whatever sweetener you are comfortable using. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my handy dandy mixer. Throughout this recipe, I have to cream my butter and sugar for a while, turning the speed on low and then high. And I will be, yet again, using just egg as my egg replacer. The recipe called for egg yolk, and so I thought this would be best replacer for that. I'm adding vanilla extract into the mix and zesting in some fresh lemon peel. Afterwards, I will add the attachment back on again and mix it for a few and then turn it off and I'll add some sour cream. You can make sour cream simply from cashews or any other type of nut or you can just buy it from any health food store. There are so many different brands of vegan sour cream out there. And that's it. My wet mix is done. Now it's time to clear the rest of this area and begin the process of combining the wet and dry ingredients. Slowly at a time, I add my wet ingredients into the dry mix. And yes, this is blueberry buckle, so therefore we need to add some blueberries. Now this may look like the whole wheat blueberry muffin recipe, but the process is simply definitely different. I just decided to put it in muffin tins to make it easier because I'm serving it to a group of people. And yes, I'm using again the crumbled topping, but this time I added cardamom, anise, and nutmeg and coriander seasonings to it. I baked the buckle at 350 degrees between 15 to 25 minutes. And look at that. This recipe is definitely a keeper. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. See you next time.